Hi everyone and welcome back to another new tutorial by Studio IC. Uh, this time again a tutorial for Edge Animate, Adobe Edge Animate and we're gonna do a, some simple coding for designers in Edge Animate. Unfortunately in Edge Animate you cannot go without doing any code at all. I wish it was like that in that tool but it's not. So if you're a designer, uh, a media designer to be precise, you have to know a little bit about code and that's what we're gonna do here in uh, this tutorial. If you want to know everything there is to know about um, uh, the coding that you can do in Edge Animate there is a JavaScript API for Edge Animate that you can visit uh, right here as you can see this is the URL on the bottom of um, this little uh, stage that we have here uh, in our composition and if you look at it online you can see that this is the website that you can visit and if you click on the current version of Edge Animate CC you get click through it and you have everything that you want to know but you know it is text it is code it is so much and for us designers that's something that's probably too much to handle all at once so we're gonna do some simple coding for edge animate in this tutorial I hope you're ready and we're gonna start this right now first of all I'm gonna delete this uh, little title sequence here and we're gonna start with some simple stuff real simple stuff here we go we're gonna create a rectangle there we go and because we like rectangles so much, we're going to duplicate this rectangle. Common C, Common V, copy, paste, that's basically it. And we're going to put it next to the first one we had. And as you probably already know, know uh, we can create symbols out of rectangles. And that's what we're going to do next. Here we go. We're going to put, click on the right mouse button. And then we get this little menu and we convert this one to a symbol. And because it's on the left side, I think we're going to name this one, well, block left would be convenient if you ask me and because we got a block left we also need a block right right mouse button convert to symbol and we're gonna go for block right okay that's cool block left block right block left block right as you can see I did this before in preparation for this tutorial and we got a block left too right now here that's not what I want so I'm gonna change that into block left and this one is also gone. It's a little strange thing about Edge Animate that it keeps remembering even symbols who are, which are now no longer on the stage or even in the library because I deleted them because I was fumbling around with this tutorial but it still remembers them and their name and uh, it gives you the opportunity to change that obviously but it's not very handy because you need this name to put some code into the right position and the right place to affect symbols. But that's for later on. Right now we're gonna animate a little bit. We're gonna animate with the, the animation tools that are available in Edge Animate, which means we're gonna animate on the timeline. And that's a very convenient thing. I like doing this and uh, for this purpose we're gonna animate on the timeline and we're gonna control the animation with a little bit of code from an other place somewhere on the stage or somewhere somewhere in a symbol so we're gonna click on the right one if you double click on it I just did it you can see you're inside block right you can see that right here and inside block right you got the rectangle again you can see the rectangle is here and we're gonna change the rectangles size a bit because we're gonna animate this one from the top to the bottom of the symbol now how do we do that? We're going to click on the top, make a keyframe for the top, and we're going to scroll to two seconds, and within two seconds, this one is going to drop down all the way to the end of our symbol. And you see the big timeline, and you see that we have an animation created on that timeline. To make this animation a little better, a little smoother, we're going to add some easing to this, and we're going to ease it out. I think that will be convenient for that. Ease it out. That's good. So if we play the animation, you can see it eases out like this. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Now, if we're going to play the, the complete animation, then I don't want it to start immediately. As I told you, I want to control this animation with another symbol somewhere on the stage. So we're going to change something here to make sure that this is not moving. And that's something you can do here in the action layer. This is the action layer and you can add keyframes with code to this action layer. Now, how do you do that? Well, this is basically the symbol you have to click on. If I click on that, you can see I get myself a code panel, but more importantly, you can see that there's a little keyframe here on 000 in my animation. 
In the code, we're going to choose something. We have to choose something that makes the animation stop or not work. And for that purpose, there are some very easy functions here. And the first one is stop. So if I click on stop, you can be sure that this animation will not play when you're controlling and you're watching the whole animation in a browser screen. It'll stop because we told it so. Same goes for the last frame in two seconds. If I click again on this one here, we insert a trigger as they call it and we're going to click on stop wait a second wait a second you see that what happened i was behind insert code here and i was clicking on stop that's not how it's going to be this has to be on the next line here we go you can see it's blue right now sim dot stop remember the sim dot which is very important in coding in edge animate more about that later on in this tutorial Okay, so nothing will happen to this animation, but it is still there. So it's time for us to go back to the stage and we're going to decide where we're going to control this animation on the right side. And I thought it would be a good idea to do this in the left symbol, but not with the left symbol. So I'm going to click, double click on the left symbol and I'm going to create a button in that left symbol. Here we go. This will be our button. Give it a different color okay and convert it to a symbol again it doesn't matter for edge animate everything that you you have on the stage can be converted into a symbol also a button there's no specific button type in edge animate so for edge animate it doesn't matter if someone something is a rectangle a button a piece of text you can always convert it into a symbol and that makes it a bit harder for us because you know we have to make sure that if we create a button that we know that it's a button so it starts with the name always name things in a logical sensible way so here we go this is button one and for edge animate it is still a symbol so we need to make sure that it has the right values to act like a button and the first thing we need to do is go back to the left corner and there we have cursor and we can change the behavior when we scroll over this symbol and what we want to do is we give it a little hand a pointer so that if i scroll over it it'll be a button at least in my view as a consumer as a visitor as someone who uses the animation let's check this out in the browser very fast see what it does here it is and if i scroll over this big box here this big rectangle you can see it acts like a button i can click on it and nothing happens but that's something that we're going to work on immediately and right now so that works for us uh, back to edge animate then and now it's time for us to add some code to the button but before we do i want to explain something to you about um, uh, your composition basically this is your composition we're back on the stage this is your composition and you can look at your composition at something with different levels for example to make it all clear to you you can say that everything that happens here is your composition your composition is level zero and everything that will happen within the blue is the stage is level one and everything that will happen here is level two it's a symbol on level two and there's also a symbol here on level two both are equal level two see and because this symbol the button symbol is within the symbol on level two this is basically level three and as you can imagine oh yeah, the color is not right for this one so i'm going to change that very fast make it white yes there we go so basically it is level 0, level 1, level 2, level 3, and you can also add a level 4 when you use a symbol that is within the level 3 symbol, and so on and on and on and on. Now, what we want to do here is we want to act from level 3, for symbol from level 3, a button in this case, and we want to control something on level 2. Now, how can we do that? That's something that we're going to do in coding. Here we go. We're going to double click on the level 2 symbol on the left side, block left, 
and then we're going to click on the button. We're not going to double click on the button. We're not going to work in the button. We're going to code on the button, never in the button, because in the button is all our graphic material. You know, we can change the size, stuff like that, if we want to. We're not going to go there. We're going to go back to the block on the left side, and we're going to add some code on the button. And how are we going to do that? Well, pretty easy. This here is your timeline, and there is this little icon here, two brackets. And if you click on that, you get a panel that allows you to code something. On the plus, you're going to do click, because we want to act on click. And then we have to write some code. Now, what, we, what, what we already saw was in the stop function, we saw sim.stop. And that's always something you start with. You start with sim. Dot. And now we have to go to the level that we, we will start from to come to the level 2 symbol that we want to reach. And basically we're going to start here at level 0 and that's the composition. So here we go, it's get composition. That's the first one that we need. Next to that or after that we're going to go to get to the stage. Second one. And the third one will be get sim, excuse me, symbol. Now, we have a bit of a problem here because get symbol, what does that mean? I mean, we got a symbol on the left side, we got a symbol on the right side. Which kind of symbol do we want to use for this? Now, we need to make sure that we get the name of the symbol within the brackets. So we're going to do this tick. And the name of that symbol was block right, if I'm not mistaken. Here we go, block right. And what is it that we want from block right? Well, we want it to play, basically. It stopped at first frame and we want it to play and go on until the next, until the last frame. So we got some simple coding here and let's try play for this matter. Uh, well, what you can see is that if you click on play, you immediately get sim on there and sim is something that we don't want because we already have sim right here. So sim is going to be removed and play will be left. So we got our composition, our stage, which is basically level zero, level one, level two. That symbol has to act and has to play. So basically, this will be it. This should work in our case. And it's maybe a good idea to check it out and see if we are right in this particular manner. Close the panel and go to the browser screen. Click on the button. And there we go. As simple as that.